Hey guys, welcome back to another Vanguard Zero video. Uh, it's been a while, but we finally have another uh, event here where we can get cards. And this time, it is another Imaginary Tower event, which we actually really haven't had in a while. Um, yeah, I think the last one was a couple months back, maybe, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyways... Raika's cards are finally here in the game. The previous one was Leonorn with uh, Urara's cards. So now we can finally play with Youth Perk. Um, so just as the usual with these events and especially since we haven't had an Imaginary Tower event in a while, I'll explain the rules. It's pretty much similar to a clan fight challenge. So you use these chips over here instead of fight tickets to fight the characters over here and you climb up floors of course the higher the floors you go then the more uh points medals here you'll earn um and you'll use these medals to exchange for cards uh and sleeves and stuff and every five floors there's a boss the boss fight is always going to be raika and he's going to change clans every time this time it shows what clan he's using here at the bottom. It's going to be our gold think tank. Um, and as you can see the reward is like 600 points. Sorry, medals for fighting him. It's also a team event. So if you are in a team, you can um, see your team's ranking over here and how well they're doing. Uh, mine's not doing too great, but that's, that's all right, you know. Um, Anyways, I also want to mention that these chips over here, they actually cover over time instead of you having to do um, character fights and all that to get more uh, uh, tickets. Instead, these chips just um, refill on their own. So every 10 minutes, I think, it refills one. So in about like 6 minutes here, um, I'll, so 7 minutes, I'll be getting uh it'll be go from 35 to 36 but you can also use these items to recover uh 50 of those uh chips over here um so i can do that now but don't really want to waste it uh you can get those by completing the uh, dailies here um if you play in the event 10 times then you get, will get three of those chips in total so that's uh, pretty good Anyways, I guess that goes about it for the explanation. Let's over go over the cards actually because I find them a little bit interesting. Um, especially with what they went with. But I guess it makes sense. So first, let's go over our boss card right here. Youthberg uh, Skyfall Arms. So he does have the Persona Rider ability as all cards do. And Revolve Dress. So Revolve Dress actually hasn't changed. Uh, in zero, it's the same ruling at the end of the battle of attack. Uh, ride uh, as you may ride a stand a card from your hand that has revolve arms in its name, and then if you wrote a card that you can get the drive minus two till end of turn. Um, and then his other skill, which is still just really good, uh, discard one card from your hand, then look at the top three cards of your hand, uh, and sorry, look at the top three cards of your deck. Um, and then from among them, choose one card with Revolve Dress in its card name and add it to your hand. Or choose a create two or lower card and then call it. So that's pretty good. I'm glad they didn't like nerf him by requiring Counter Blast or whatever, so it's fine. Rev uh, Gust, Youthberg Revolve Arms, sorry, Youthberg Revolve Arm Gust, oh sorry. I read the I read this wrong. This is not a revolve uh arms, this is a revolve form. Uh Skyfall Arms is right, but uh, you, you know what I mean. Anyways. Um so yeah, when it's placed by your uh revolve dress ability and your vanguard and your opponent's vanguard is grade three or higher, you may discard one card discard one card from your hand. To draw one card and then for the turn power plus 10k and drive plus one so that uh, hasn't changed i believe so it's pretty good and then of course the skill that all uh revolve forms have at the end of the turn uh ride a card with the revolved dress ability from your soul 
So you're gonna ride into your grade 3 and then go back to doing it again next turn. Then we have the grade 2 which also hasn't changed. Um, it does what all the first skill is sim just the same as what all the other uh, cards uh, do. So um, you uh, put back a grade 3 from your hand to your deck and then search for... Uh, sorry, not search for... Ride a Youth Perk Skyfall arm from your deck. If you roll, then you cannot roll more ride for the rest of the turn. Um, and then the art skill is the same as the TCG. Uh, when it attacks a vanguard, if it's being if your vanguard is boosted, oh, I guess that's a bit different because in TCG it doesn't require van uh, youth perk to be your vanguard. I think um, if it's being boosted, soul blast one, uh, and then it gets power plus five k. Um, but you can't activate it if your power is already over. Higher than your opponent's power. Um, so that part is also different from the TCG. But that's like something that I'm doing. And then of course the grade 1. If you um, put back grade 2 to ride the grade. Put back any grade 2 from your hand to ride the grade 2 use. Um, and then the art skill is just in. Um, it changed a little bit uh, from TCG version actually. So, uh, front row, rear guard circle, during your turn, if your vanguard is used perk, then power plus 2k. So, it's 9k uh, permanently. That's pretty nice. Since your vanguard will, of course, be used perk. And then, of course, the standard uh, starter here. Um, and its skill is uh, soul. So, when uh, you ride youth perk stifle arms, uh, remove this card from play to add a youth perk revolve form uh, revolve form zest from outside of your uh deck so that's um pretty good so basically they didn't you don't have to exchange the uh, exchange cards where it doesn't exist like that it just you add it from outside of your deck the problem is that you'll only be able to use zest once probably unless you can somehow get him from soul to hand or i guess if you soul blast him and then somehow get him from drop the hand you can get it back but yeah that's uh you anyways you probably won't want to use uh, zest a lot uh you'll probably only use him once anyway so that's fine so i found that a bit interesting that they added gust instead of something like schnizel and zest is also not like separate uh zest is also just i think actually a common or a rare you know, when you see the card he's also a crit and again you can't change that because it's added outside of your deck. Uh, and also, you can fully... He, his skill also has not changed. It, you can fully, uh, fully utilize it only after Persona Riding. So, after Persona Riding, he'll get the crit. But he'll still get the 15k whether you Persona Ride or not. If, once you revolve, uh, dress him. That's about it for the cards. Sorry, that took a bit of time. But let's finally get to the boss fight. And that'll be the end of the video. So, uh, I almost forgot to explain about boost cards. So, in the latest set, um, there are, uh, just like usual, in the latest set, the cards that came out there, the triple rares and above, uh, will be boost cards. So, if you have these in your deck, then you will get more medals. Um... And points and wow there's a lot for link joker that that is a lot uh compared to that gold and angels is um very few i guess and for aqua force as well huh and also the uh actual like cards that you can get in this event itself um the youth bird cards are available uh to use as boost uh boost cards so this is pretty much the last day of the event so because of that they've made all the cards boost cards but usually it changes day by day uh started started with gold paladins first so gold paladins is pretty much the card that, the deck that i'm gonna use with because i actually have boost cards for it uh not all the cards are actually from the latest set for example uh this gurgit over here golden holy sword gurgit was not from the latest set but there is support cards for him so it's basically his deck uh then that's why he's a boost card but i'm not actually going to use a boost uh 
sorry i'm not i'm actually not going to use that i'm actually going to use vanquisher because i think i have mentioned this last time um since we didn't really get to properly see vanquisher being played in the uh boss fight like video that i recorded uh i said the last time in the next event i was going to uh if i managed to build the deck which i did i was going to just take that and show you guys how it's played so that's what i actually uh that's what i'm gonna do even though it's not a boost um it doesn't have any boost cards in it but you know it's fine this is the deck list just want to show it to you um i think it's not that bad you know of course it could be optimized much better but yeah also one thing i want to mention is that after you beat the boss three times regularly you can actually skip the fight uh but we'll take two skip tickets um you can also skip all the other like regular fights that are not boss fights and you can skip multiple th ones at a time of course so if you press max it'll like take you to the max amount of times but it'll always stop at when the boss fight is there so you would have to ignore uh you would have to go into the boss fight screen and also skip that manually but um that's probably because the first uh three times you can't actually skip the boss but after you beat him after you beat Raika three times you'll be able to skip the boss fight all right so let's see here not that bad but not so great i kind of want to put back this uh vanquisher but i want to also have stride fodder um okay i guess this is not that bad not so great but not so bad let's see what we can draw though so let's see what he rides. Just gonna press auto so it like speeds up a bit. That's like when he gets to do his stuff, then of course I'll let let it play normally so you can catch what's going on. So we'll write that, put that there. Um okay, that's good. We got martial arts dragon to ride next turn. We want that. I was I'm also just gonna auto this just to speed it up. Because there's no like voice lines or animations yet, and uh, even when he writes uh, Youth Berk, there's nothing like that. So, this is pretty much just gonna be a lot faster since it's just like a standard turn call call swing. Now we ride Martial Arts Dragon, uh, and then we do activate the skill, gonna bind that. And that's what you want to do you on your grade 2 turn you really want to ride martial arts dragon especially if you went second because usually they're gonna if your opponent calls a front row unit or has a card in their drop zone just pcb one so best one to bind it and it's honestly not that bad of a cost because you can get that back later with some other cards and especially with sparking so i just want to mention that as well we could just call the martial arts dragon here as well to rush. I think that would be a good idea. Because, like, Youthberg doesn't even need CB. So, like, trying to um, deny him counter blast doesn't really do anything. But he plays Tom in this, so that is really scary. Let me see. I think Tom doesn't need counter blast. Yeah, he doesn't need counter blast. So there you go, he added Gust to his hand using the starter skill. Okay, he used Youthberg skill to call cards. Ah, I see, he called the cat. When you call this card, uh, both players draw a card. So I mean, that makes sense. If you win, uh, just one advice, if you want to build Youthberg, uh, probably you want to build a deck that revolves around having cards that uh, activate effects when you... Okay, good, you didn't check trigger. Uh, what was saying? Oh, yeah. Having cards that activate when you superior call them, so because you can superior call uh, grade 2 or lower cards with a youth berk here, Skyfall Arms, or cards that draw, or like ideally some sort of both, because you want to draw into your revolve form gust, right? You just have one revolve uh, form, uh, one type of revolve form. Uh, and Zest can only be used once, so the only ones you can use multiple times is Gust. So you want to draw a lot for that. Um, if I'm going to build the deck, of course, I'll also in the next video, like maybe... 
そたどり着くライトドラゴニックバンキシャースパーキング So you deck list. So I just wanted to let the that play. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go into Voltex. Uh, sorry, Voltex Zapper Dragon. <laughs> Took me a while. Um, yeah, second to read that properly, but it's fine. I think we can just ditch this. We could ride that, but I don't. Yeah, I think it's okay. We're not gonna ride. Well, actually, I'll just ditch the sparking. The original does have a, like a crit at GB2, so that is still pretty cool. Um, we're going to get what's this again? Uh, when it attacks a van, oh, when it hits a vanguard CB1, uh, look at the top five cards of your deck and then add a grade three or higher. So, yeah, see, cards like this, uh. Oracle Agent uh, Lois, Royce uh, can help you like search for Gust. So you want that, but I'm not gonna let him keep that. Uh, then we are going to think. Are we. Does he have three cards in his pine zone? I think he does, right? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, that's good. First, we're gonna use the starters for skill to counter charge. And then give something... Oh, my bad. I should have called something else first. But that's okay. Now I want to call this card. CB1. Draw. That's good. We got that. Now do I call Rock Climb Dragoon? Um, I think... This is fine. We can call this here. But we can't really use it yet. So we don't have soul either, so we can't use rock climb dragoon skill anyway. Might as well just call this for now. Don't have any boosters. Put that there. Do this. And then attack. You want to bind as fast as possible. A lot of your opponent's cards. So uh, retiring and then putting their cards in the drop zone like helps. It also kind of helps that Youth Burke sort of, like, this. he discards a card to pay for his own cost, so, like, that helps. So we just, uh, at the end of the battle, CB1, retire random back row unit, and then bind it, that card from the drop zone. Okay, Persona rides. See, and he uses his skill again, so he'll always have drop a card in the drop zone and just call. Okay! I guess this is his final turn or something. Maybe he doesn't have a PG. This is kind of funny. He called the Zest. And the Persona ride. And he drove check to Gus. So yeah, I'm gonna be sure to try to bind that. Oh, he still had a Gust in hand to revolve dress. Okay. Discarding another Persona ride. This man did not have the optimized hand, I guess. But there you go. Yeah, he performed his drive check as well. Right, that's there. Uh, do we want to counter charge? Soul charge. Well, we don't really need the counter charge right now, so soul charge. Ah, stand trigger. I really wanted the stand in my hand. But we can leave that, and now we'll go to... How many cards are in my opponent's bind zone? I want to check. Five? Okay, that's good. That's good. Five cards. So we can use... Uh, v Max, but maybe oh, let's go with V Buster actually, so I can show you what it does. Oh, wait, V Buster requires se uh, Thunder 7. Hold on, can I? I, how many cards are in his drop zone? Let me check. I'll be, I have five there already, so okay, I can bind with Vanquisher skill, I'll be able to bind two cards. We only have one Soul Blast. Uh, yeah, he's SB1, Karma Blast 1, V Buster, Soul Blast 1. It's, at least it's not on place, so we can sort of Soul Charge. I think. Um, I think. Yeah, we can use the starter skill to get a card in Soul and then Soul Blast it. So I can show you guys V Buster. Uh. 
Sure, why not? Actually, let's go into V-Buster since that's actually the new Grid 3. I really do need the counter charge though. Uh, it is worth it here though to use the sparking skill because we need to get hit that 7. So we're binding the zest. Bind the, oh, it bombed the gust. Okay, that's good luck. I mean, that's lucky. Uh, then we will activate this. Actually, wait, yeah. We'll do this. Bind that. Another card. Then we'll CB1 potential find the card. Then it doesn't really matter for now that we. Oh, that was so close. I almost called that. Then we can't call anything else. We don't wanna. We'll just use this. Soul Blast 1, G. Persona Blast. Find a lot. And now uh, he has. How many cards in his mind zone? I want to check. It doesn't matter now because can't bet it back, but 11 cards, okay. So yeah, everything hits for giant numbers now. And when we attack, we will have an extra drive and crit, so that's cool. First... Yep, there you go, heal guard. Next I... Uh, we, I do run stands. Let me check how many stands I have. Two stands, two stand triggers. 17 cards left in deck. Uh, not likely, so... Okay. Now hopefully he doesn't PG this or heal guard. If we check a stand though, that's kind of fog because we have four drives. Uh, no stand, but the heal is really good. We'll do this. Nice, he did not have a guard. Okay. Great, we won. So yeah, uh, as you can see, that's kind of how Vanquisher wants to play. Uh, you want to bind a lot of cards from their drop zone, get a lot of cards in their bind zone, and then you want to hit that 7 or higher. Like, uh, I think you kind of only need to hit 7 anyway, because that's the highest. Uh, I mean, in, in this deck, uh, it's like the highest thunder to reach. I think there's nothing like thunder... 8 yet or thunder 9 i think those if those cards exist i think they will come later they're not out yet so like once you hit thunder 7 you can go into v buster and you just have that extra crit and everything hits for giant numbers so that's pretty strong and that's also kind of why i tried running stand triggers which you can try if you want to as well um so you know if they just like pg everything and then you check stand stand like now they have to deal with two more attacks, right? And they are, and it hits for giant numbers, so making it harder for heal guards to actually work. And you're also just getting rid of this completely just helps to shut down Legion decks. So, but not a lot of people are running Legion decks anymore, uh, even though there are still Legion decks uh, in the game uh, coming out, like stuff like that, and support for Legion. Um, this also, I guess, kind of, yeah, just like, this like kind of helps to shut down a lot of cards that, you know, run their drop zone as their toolbox, like Grand Blue, for example. But anyways, um, it, uh, Vanquisher is a fun deck. So that's it for this video. I hope you had a fun time and you... Um, I mean, you enjoyed the video and you like, you saw what Vanquisher could do. I really like the deck. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next video. Oh, but before I finish, I do want to mention that if you want to actually get um, all of the cards, at least in base rarity for Youthberg in this event, um, I actually kind of calculated a bit and you need about like 40 uh not 48 uh i was gonna say 48 but that's just enough for both youthberg and gust but you also want the grade twos and ones uh and the grade zero of course like you should probably do uh, play multiple copies of twos and of uh, the grade twos and ones as well even though you can just need one um 
but you know just in case they don't they go to damage zone and then you like you lose the right line thing you don't want that right so uh i think if you get about fifty thousand, that is like safe you can get all the cards so i just wanted to mention that as well if you get fifty thousand medals then you'll be able to build the deck completely so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye